what are the key differences between the Bohr model and later quantum mechanical models of the atom. If you're curious about how our understanding of the atom has evolved, you're in the right place. Let's explore the differences between the Bohr model and the quantum mechanical models of the atom. To start, the Bohr model, proposed by Niels Bohr in 1915, is a simpler way to understand the atom. In this model, electrons are treated as particles that move in fixed, spherical orbits around the nucleus. These orbits are quantized, meaning electrons can only occupy specific energy levels, and they can jump from one level to another by absorbing or emitting energy. Now let's compare this to the quantum mechanical model. In this modern model, electrons are not just particles but also exhibit wave behavior. This is known as wave-particle duality. Unlike the Bohr model, which uses a single quantum number, the principal quantum number, to describe the electron's position, the quantum mechanical model uses four quantum numbers to specify an electron's state. These numbers help describe the electron's energy, shape of its orbital, and its orientation in space. Another significant difference is how the two models describe the path of an electron. In the Bohr model, the electron's path is well-defined and fixed in specific orbits. In contrast, the quantum mechanical model does not define a specific path for the electron. Instead, it relies on probabilities to determine where an electron might be found within a given region of space. The Bohr model works well for simple atoms like hydrogen, which has only one electron. However, it fails to explain the atomic spectra of larger atoms and phenomena like the Zeeman and Stark effects, which are the effects of magnetic and electric fields on atomic spectra. The quantum mechanical model, on the other hand, can accurately explain these effects and is applicable to all types of atoms, regardless of their complexity. In terms of orbital shapes, the Bohr model does not describe the exact shapes of every orbital, while the quantum mechanical model provides detailed descriptions of all possible orbital shapes. This includes s, p, d, and f orbitals, each with unique shapes and orientations. Lastly, the quantum mechanical model is more comprehensive and accurate. It allows for the calculation of many atomic properties that the Bohr model cannot such as the fine structure of spectral lines and the behavior of electrons in different environments. In summary, while the Bohr model was a significant step in understanding atomic structure, the quantum mechanical model offers a much more detailed and accurate description of how electrons behave in atoms. This difference is crucial for understanding many phenomena in chemistry and physics, 